countdown is beginning on Arrow Q2 European Duel League Season 7 Finals. Tamaya is coming from the lower bracket, and I'm going to watch Furry. I'm going to be inside of Tamaya, and we've started. Tamaya collected the rocket and the mega, and he's heading over to Red Armor to pick that up as well, and the chain. But Furry got the Red Armor spawn initially. It looks like the, the Maya is um, uh, going to try to take that area and, and use that area, at least for this part of the fight. Um, they're, uh, they, they almost had a little uh, bout there, but the Maya is going to retreat a little bit. And there's that little sign of aggressiveness too, that I was saying. He just sneaks in, just runs and rails real quick. Most people wouldn't even try that. They would just wait and try and pick him off from below as he jumped off of the red armor ledge. But now the Maya has collected two red armors and he's charging Furry. Both doing a ton of damage. Oh wow, looks like Furry spiked right there. That is really unfortunate. He might have got off another rocket. Yeah. Well, the Maya did do uh, some pretty good uh, stable aiming with the chain. Uh, Mose down uh, Furry again, uh, following him down near the uh, uh, Mega Health spawn. Now Furry is being ambushed off the spawn, but he did pick up a Mega with the rail. And I bet you that lag kill was very frustrating. Even though Furry was going to die anyway, it looked like. That, that can just be so frustrating, especially in a really intense match like this. Right. Now both players are very, very low at the red armor area. And Demaya like, comes down on top. Yeah, Demaya's control of that chain gun and uh, steady aim with it is giving uh, giving him the uh, the chance to get all these uh, free, er, well not free, but nice kills uh, to, to give him a higher score. And Furry was able to spawn right next to the rail and pick up two hits on the rail, but uh, Demaya regained control again as he came up toward Red Armor area. And uh, Furry had killed himself, so he's back down to zero. Furry had scored four to nothing, but Demaya gets another kill to Chan. They're, uh, they're coming into a lot of skirmishes, which is uh, starting to be really aggressive and uh, intense. Uh, Furry just killed himself again. Uh, uh, landed on his own grenade. Yep. But he did get a good spawn. That's, I mean, he had 14 health anyway. That that really is negligible. You can get, sacrifice 14 health for a good spawn and red armor control. He'll, he'll do it. Yeah, and some more bouts. Um, it, there's not, they're not sticking to one specific area, although they are... Uh, Damien gets, a, gets in another kill with Super Shotgun. They're, they're not um, fighting for control of one area. They're just looking for each other. Uh, at least uh, the Maya is coming in and uh, and uh, hunting him down, and they're having the bouts elsewhere, and not just over one specific area. And Purry's at the upper rocket, while the Maya continues to maintain control of the red armor area. I think he's picked up probably seven or eight of the eight or nine that have been available. But uh, Purry did get up there and grab it this time. Purry does have the rocket and the rail now with a red armor, so he's stacked and ready to go. The Maya was able to uh, actually sit there and wait for the uh, uh, Mega Health while Purdy just plain missed and missed and missed with that rocket. Yeah, the Maya was very fortunate that he got missed by pretty much everything Purdy threw out there. But now both players are very stacked and uh, I hope they meet up at the uh, upper rocket area. Purdy has a nice a rocket. And he finishes them off with a chain. I think he's figured out the uh, the strategy that uh, Demaya had been using to take advantage of the red area. I think we may start seeing what I was describing before, the controlling of the uh, of most of the area by uh, Perry using the uh, 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 teleporter to pop in and out and uh, place shots. Now the score is, only, is 5 nothing in favor of Demaya, but Curry has pretty much full control and he just got a kill there, so it's 5-1. Yeah, all of these bouts are amounting to uh, knocking the person down to small amounts of health and just clean up work, um, which is not always what you see, but in, in this case, uh, almost all these kills have just been um, nail them with the rocket enough and uh, clean them with the chain gun, or get a steady flow of the chain gun to pull them down and then turn a corner and finish him off with the last few pot shots. Indeed, and now Curry's sitting really healthy at almost 400 total health. He's 200-200 about. 
And Demai is not that healthy, he's on the move. And he is down. Yeah, comes out of the corner, gets nailed, spawns right next to him. Uh, where he just follows him in, or uh, hunts down and takes another rail to the back. And to be honest, this really, this is very premature, but this could be spelling the beginning of the end of Demai on this particular map, because when someone is so stacked on a map like this, where he just keeps getting every single rail that pops up because he has the time. It's so hard to come back from it. You really need to get really lucky in a particular fight to uh, come back and contest control of the red armor, for instance. Yeah, Z Demaya uh, had that room and had the chance to take that jump into the red armor, but retreated, uh, possibly knowing that uh, Purry would have just uh, thrown some rockets into the uh, into the little cubby hole to, to take out, take some damage on him, but. Um, that was his chance, and he uh, just backed off and he's playing a safer game right now. Hurry just cycling through the map, he collected all the crucial items, basically. He got the chain, armor, the rocket, and the rail, so Demai is just sitting around with a shotgun. And he can't really do much about it. I find this interesting that Demai is actually uh, pulling out the, uh, the Hyper Blaster, because you don't, you don't really see that a lot. On this map, it, it is used a bit, especially for people that aren't in control, because they can spam the gun and be running and put on some pretty decent damage, because it's a good defensive weapon. Yeah, it did work. It got um, Curry as he's coming around the corner, forcing him to retreat somewhat. Gave the Maya the chance to uh, get the, uh, red, uh, the Mega, but he gets to all of that taken down, down to one health by the chain gun. It retreats, has to uh, give up the red, and uh, and run away. They have a little bout, but he's down to 11 health. He's still uh, still not being finished off yet. Has he missed that RA jump a bunch of times? That's what it sounded like, and he finally got it because Curry missed the rail. But that's what I was speaking about earlier. That could have definitely cost him right there. All that work could have been for nothing. Yeah, he got lucky. That shot that Curry took on him to finish off his 11 health. Um, he, uh, he hit the wrong step, which blocked the uh, radius from hitting him. So and now Furry got the next red armor, and he also has, uh, the Mega, too. Well, the has got his chain gun back, doesn't have a whole lot of ammo for it, but, uh, that was what was giving him advantage before. And you're seeing Purry do the, uh, the teleporter again, where he's popping in and out, just taking pot shots. But Purry took a lot of damage from some rockets as he got the railgun. Figured it was worth taking two rockets to guarantee that Demai doesn't pick up the rail, and that actually might be a good trade-off if you can just retreat and get the next red armor. Oh, so Demai misses a shot that would have uh, probably finished Curry off there trying to get that mega. Now Demai sounds pretty weak, about 70 health maybe, and he's dead. Yeah, right I, I, Demai. I don't know if he missed that red armor jump or just mistakenly didn't go for it. Yeah, he just came down. That that was pretty bad. He came down toward Furry with no reason to. So I, I think he missed the jump, or I don't know if he was just thinking something that was different than what the actual circumstances were. Yeah, I think I think things kind of. He probably just didn't have the. He didn't start his first jump in the right position, and he ended up falling down the steps. They're both exchanging rail shots right now. Um, the Maya, the closest one to the Mega, picks up the Mega. Um, he's got a, got himself stuck in the lower area, but he hits uh, a nice shot against Purry, uh, coming up the ramp. And Purry's, I think he's playing with his teleporter right now, um, going towards the rocket, uh, firing some rockets into the little area that, uh, next to the Mega Health that the Maya's just hiding in, trying to get some good rail shots at. And there it goes, oh wow, he got hit by a grenade and a rocket, and spawn killed right after. Yeah, that and Purry, Purry picked up the rail. And that puts him in charge of the uh, red armor now, so he's got that room. That was that was pretty huge for Furry right there, because Shamaya, if he could just hit a couple rails, you know, he's back in it. But then Furry nailed him with a grenade and the rocket and got the next rail spawn, so it, it's looking really good for Furry right now. It's, as the score is nine to five, and Furry maintains pretty much full control of the items on the map. Well, if there's any consolation, uh, Demaya did get a really nice grenade uh, hit on Purry. It just didn't matter because the stack was way too high. But Purry did let Demaya get that next rail. As he took Mega, now he's gonna head over to Red Armor. Demaya misses another jump.
He's just not landing the uh, chain gun like he was earlier. He uh, probably could have taken uh, Curry out with uh, with the amount of bolts he had there, but he missed too many of them and, and just had to pretty much get picked off and no ammo left. Score is currently 11 for Curry, 5 for Damia, or uh, Demaya. Did it again. And they're fighting over control of the red armor right now. Red armor range. They're exchanging rockets from red armor to the low teleporter. Curry has the high ground and he's... Oh, he missed the red armor jump and died. Did he land into that rocket? Uh, I think so. He had 60 health and just got hit by either the splash or the rocket. I, I couldn't really tell, but he I missed was... the jump. I think it was pure luck on Damien's part, or Demaya's part, that he uh, put that rocket in the right spot and Curry just missed a jump and landed on it. Right, it, I mean, he knew that was the spot to shoot at, but it was purely in the hands of Curry if he's going to hit that jump or not. He was very fortunate for Demaya that Curry missed the jump. Now Curry's really low from the super shotgun, and Demaya has finished him off with a kill, but he's still trailing by five, so it's 12-7 with 3 minutes 47 seconds left. Yeah, one thing we're still seeing from Demaya, um, and he does get a nice super shotgun right to the, uh, pretty much point blank to uh, Curry. Uh, but one thing we're seeing from Demaya, it, it might be too, not enough to, to get his kills that he needs, but he, he's always getting at least part of the spread from either the chain gun or the super shotgun, always getting some damage. Yeah, he's doing some damage every time, but he so ran he, into a ton of hyper cells there at Red Armor, which is, I mean, that was huge for Furry. Those were all cells that could have been avoided, but Samaya went into a straight line and sort of like clumsily went for the red armor. And now Curry has full control again. Samaya tried to just set up an ambush there and uh, get Curry with uh, both barrels of the super shotgun. He got him with most of the spread, but Curry just had too much armor and uh, armor and health, so he was able to tur turn that battle around and just kill Samaya with two rocket shots. Now, there's not a whole lot of time left to get six kills. Demaya's gonna need to get something going pretty soon, and that's what he's doing. He's chasing Furry. I, I do like this idea, because there's just not enough time. You gotta go for it all. And Furry does a ton of damage, but he does blow himself up. Demaya's gonna wait for that rail. Now he's in the red. And again, he missed the jump and ate a uh, super shotgun right to the face. It's gotta be so frustrating for him. Oh, uh, uh, they're fighting over the Mega Health. Uh, Maya lands two rocket splashes, but not enough to get destroyed by the chain gun. And I, I think that uh, that was really Demaya's only opportunity, unless right now he can just spawn rape the crap out of Furry with his rail. Furry is railable right now, hiding at Chain Gun. Demaya knows he's there too. Demaya goes for the Mega, comes back to this position. And this is a shot that would have turned the tide in this one. And yeah, if I think that missed shot pretty much seals it. You cannot get 7 kills in a minute and 20 seconds. Demaya down to 25 health. Uh, Furry's probably just going to come in and clean him up. Furry just staying back, he knows there's no burden on him to uh, start engaging his opponent. Another left now, uh, score is 15 to 8 uh, in Furry's favor. And control of the map is Furry's. Yep, this was a uh, fairly predictable outcome. I'm, I'm sort of surprised that Demaya missed the red armor jump as much as he did. I, I did point out that that was a... Uh, one of the very rare areas where Demaya needs to improve his game is to reliably make that jump, but uh, he missed it at least three or four times in really crucial uh, moments. Yeah, and uh, although Curry did uh, fall to the same fate, missing a jump and landing on, uh, on one of 
Demaya's shots. It was most of the case that Demaya misses it, lands into a super shotgun blast, or misses it and lands into a, a fight he just can't win. And that does it for map one. The score is 15 to 8 in favor of Curry over Demaya on Arrow Q2. And we'll be heading over to Demaya's home map, which is Q2 RDM2, which has to be built. And Demaya is well known to be pretty legendary on this map. His control is just so hard to overcome. It, he, I'd give him two to one odds on this one at least. And the countdown has begun again. Eight, seven, six. Okay, five, yeah, I do have this on the map. I just don't have all the three, But I'm in. Two, one. Sorry, I got the lower rocket spawn, and I hear Demaya got the rail spawn, so. The edge certainly goes to Demaya. Now, this map is one where uh, controlling the upper area, um, having the railgun and controlling the upper area um, near the uh, mega health above the rocket spot is, is probably what, uh, the longer you can control that, it's usually what determines the outcome. Indeed, and uh, while Puri is 100 100, he's only got one rocket and, or now he's picking up more, but Demaya's got the rail and the mega and chain. Oh wow, yeah, yeah, Puri caught him as he. Nice fight by Furry. That was that was really big right there. Yeah, caught him in the center area by the boxes and just landed rocket after rocket after rocket. Um, they meet up again in the uh, area underneath the um, uh, uh, what's it the uh, grenade launcher spawn. Uh, takes Demaya down to two health and then finishes him off with the chain gun as he pops up a jump pad. Right now, Furry has Mega and he's heading for rail, and that usually means that it really really tough for the opponent to uh, regain control. So, Curry has 200 health, 19 armor, takes a rocket, but puts the rail on Demaya at the super shotgun, and just maintains top of the map control. Oh, uh, nails him when he's jumping for the uh, lower uh, um, yellow armor inside the arena area. And if Curry if Curry's <laughs> I, I'm pretty much ready to crown Curry as the champion because I don't see Demaya coming back in a row and then a whole other set of 3 of 5 because that is what will need to happen. And Curry has complete control right now and he's collecting another rail just to uh, keep Demaya from getting it in the future. Yeah, well, uh, a few of the strategies that I've seen that, that can turn this map around um, if, and as risky as it is, if Demaya can get just a little bit of armor, uh, maybe one yellow armor, or 50 yellow armor, and uh, fight over that railgun, that can turn the tide of the map. It's one of the few things that can that can happen, is if you can uh, take him out and then pick up the railgun, you can get the vantage point that you need to uh, keep him from stacking himself back up. Yeah, it's still early, but Demaya, he's pretty much falling into Curry's little traps of his superior positioning as Demaya heads for weapons. Curry's sitting nicely at 195 health, 100 armor, and he's got tons of ammo, 30 rockets, got probably 30 slugs, 200 chain bullets, just sitting up top at chain. Now he's going to drop down on Demaya below. Curry's got two rockets though. Yeah, tried to take him out with a chain gun, but just got beat back and had to retreat. Demaya even misses a yellow armor jump. Yeah, that Looking was his pretty chance floppy. To, his chance to take uh, take control of the arena, and he just lost it. And Furry finishes him up with a chain gun. Demaya is just looking much floppier than normal. One might question if uh, playing Quake Live a little too much has affected his Quake Two game. Some some of these are just casual jumps. It does like, uh, look like Curry's all that worried about uh, having to uh, time your yellow armor right now. Because he knows he has all of the uh, weapons in control of the upper area. So he's uh, he's got the mega health, but he doesn't have any armor right now, and it doesn't look like he's all that interested in it. There's no reason to uh, be engaging in fights with the Maya right now. I think that's the strategy Curry's taken. But he collects next two yellows, so now he's got 100 armor, so there goes that. Uh, yeah, he, yeah he doesn't know where Demaya is, and uh, Demaya is sneaking up trying to get that uh, uh, railgun spawn once it comes back. 
Oh yeah, Tori has no idea. I'm watching Tori's point of view. He's just looking around the map. Now he's, I think he's uh, interested in seeing if he's at the rail area. Yep. That gives him the rail. Let's see uh, who takes the uh, who gets the aim award for this one. So he did lay one rail, but Maya picked up 50 health and uh, another 50 armor. So. I mean, just picking up that rail was a huge plus for Demaya, because he didn't really take much damage, and that, that's how you get back into the game on this map. Yeah, but, uh, Demaya takes the rail to the face, but he's got uh, his, his rail, he's got, um, well, he's got his health back now, he's got a little bit of armor, but he had the upper position in the rail gun and the chain gun, which is usually all he needs to get himself a kill. And Demaya took some nice long distance rockets on Curry. Uh, getting him down to about 80 total health. Could have finished him off on the rail, but he backed off. Now they're engaged at the chain gun area. Curry is doing some nice uh, popping in and out uh, using some, some interesting cover. Things that you don't normally get to use as cover. Demai picks up his first kill. And Demai has the mega timing. Curry's going to chain on chain. Wow, I think Demai had a lot more health. Than Curry. And right, Curry came out on top. I'm gonna leave you to your own devices for uh, a good five minutes now to hear. Hold on one sec. Sure. Now both both players know that Mega's coming. Curry mistimed it barely. And uh Oh man. Jemaya has full control like once again, picking up that Mega, but Curry gets a super shotgun spawn and the yellow armor. Scored 6 to 2 with 8 minutes 50 seconds remaining. Curry in the lead over Demaya. This is map 2. Curry has won the first map. Curry's just hanging out at the uh, ledge before the you jump to rail, trying to hide and. Uh, usually when nothing's going on, the opponent starts to see, okay, my opponent's not making any noise, he's probably waiting for rail. And that's what Demaya has figured out. And now Demaya's coming to engage Furry, and they're doing chain on chain. Furry didn't really receive much damage, but Demaya did pick up the rail to keep it from Furry. And Mega is up. Oh, and a nice rail by Demaya. If Furry could have just got the Mega and took the rail, it wouldn't have been a big deal, but he got railed and Demaya was able to pick up the Mega too. Each week, the Tasty Cast will bring in a member of the community to have discussions over their recent projects and aspirations. Plenty of time left for Furry, for Demaya to come back as he keeps taking damage and Demaya hitting a rocket and then finishing him off with Chain over at Super Shotgun. Oh, and Demaya fit, hits a nice rail on Furry. Score is now 6-4. Going for another rail. Demaya misses the first one. Oh my god, that was so clutch. For hitting two rails right in a row on Demaya. Demaya missed the first rail, which should have definitely been hit. I mean, if he hits that, the score 6 to 5, and maybe he keeps spawn killing him, but no. Missed the first one, and Furry hit a two right in a row. Oh. Demaya was able to take a rail with five health remaining or so after the first one. And uh, chain kill Furry. I think Furry should have been a little more defensive after he got that kill. Now Demaya has complete control again with rail. Curry heading over the chain. He still is only a hundred health or so. Doing chain on chain. And Demaya with much more health comes out on top. The score is all tied up now. And Demaya has control. Curry again waiting for rail. Demaya knows it. And another missed rail. Can this uh, end up in a favor of Curry again? Both players missing about six total rails. Mega's up, and Curry doesn't go for it, that could cost, be costly. He would have grabbed Chain and swiped Mega real quick. 
be in a much better situation. Ah, oh, but he gets railed and craters. <laughs> and he types typical. That is awesome. That yeah, that has to be incredibly frustrating to just jump rail and get railed right before you hit Mega. Jump from Mega, excuse me. And now Demaya is just finishing him off. Score is nine to six in favor of Demaya. Both players are uh, not very healthy. Maya hits another easy rail on Purry. And it's, it's starting to get a little out of hand now. Maya's been on like a 9-0 run or something. It was 6-2 earlier in favor of Purry, and now it's 11-6 in favor of Maya. Less than five minutes remaining. I don't know how productive Furry thinks those long distance grenades are going to be. But uh, I think we're seeing a little frustration on the part of Furry. And Demaya is just having no remorse, punishing Furry with every decision he makes. <laughs> and Demaya blows himself up as uh, Furry chased him with SSG. Oh my goodness, another good oh. Demaya. Every time Puri gets a little bit of an edge, Demaya's been just destroying him and he hits a nice grenade on Puri. It had to be a body shot grenade too, I think Puri was 49.50 in health and arms, so it had to hit him directly. Puri able to take that Mega while taking a rail in, in addition to it. But there's really not a whole lot of time left to get seven kills. Uh, so Puri's gonna have to start engaging Demaya, even though Demaya might be in position already to uh, fight properly. Alright, I'm back, and apparently I missed something important. <laughs> yeah, Demaya uh, started railing Puri, and Puri made a couple mistakes, so long story short, it's 13 to 6. Yeah, that's the domination, man. It's doubled his score when uh, Curry had absolute control, and he's uh, more than doubled. He's got another kill with a railgun, and uh, that's some that's a real turnaround. And I think, to be honest, this is what most play Quake 2 players want to be seeing. They want to see more than three maps against these two heavyweights, and that, that's what it looks like it'll be. Uh, but if Curry can go on a really, really good run right here, he can come back, but there's just not a lot of time. He needs to just... He does the uh, little trick jump to go to rail. That was a nice jump. Maya throwing uh, rockets on the lower yellow armor, but... Uh, before he wakes him out and then grabs it. And I must say that Maya is probably the hardest player in the world to uh, make a comeback, a substantial comeback from, because he's such a defensive player and he knows where you're at at all times. But now they're going into a chain fight, Curry having much more health, and finishes him off, and he still has 70 health, and Demaya got a bad spawn. Will Curry just finish him off? No, not yet. Keep in mind, he was down by 7. Oh, and he's still down by 7. He was down by 7, it took him a minute to get a kill, and I think that's going to pretty much seal it. Two minutes left, and Furry down by seven. Am I going for the... Oh, misses the Mega, but gets a nice splash damage kill against Furry as he jumps over the edge to get it. Rockets himself up to the Railgun. Doesn't get the chance to shoot the Furry as he comes by and Furry grabs the Mega. Right now I bet Furry is very... Uh, disappointed. Uh, he he really did have pretty firm control of the map, and things were going his way. And then he made a couple mistakes, and that's that's the end of it. Because this is Demaya's map, so if you make a mistake versus Demaya, hey, you're gonna pay for it. They're uh, getting in bouts in the um, uh, uh, jump pad uh, near the mega, and uh, Demaya takes out the as rail. Now Curry's just running at him with a blaster. One minute left. And the next map we're going to be seeing is Q2DM3, the frag fight. Uh, and both players are actually very, very good on this map. 
I remember a couple seasons ago, I think Puri dominated Demaya. It was like 18 to negative 1 as I was reading the article on Q2 scene. But both players are really, really good at that map. Most people think Puri uh, has the edge on it, but I think it suits Demaya's style as well. Yeah, it's interesting how uh, Demaya is playing right now, though he has the lead. He's still uh, uh, playing um, uh, uh, to get... Uh, he's, he's not playing extra defensively, uh, more so than you would expect that he would just um, wait the time out. He's actually engaging in fights, uh, playing smartly. Um, we have uh, 19 for Demaya, 11 for Puri. Uh, amazing comeback by Demaya. And now that ties the series up to one map apiece. And here we are on the frag pipe. And countdown already. Just the way I like eight, it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hurry's heading for the upper rocket. Demai evidently got the mega. Hurry rocket jumps to the rail. So now both players uh, will have a rail, and it'll be interesting to see how they begin to engage each other. And Demaya falls into the lava in the bottom in the center area, and just flares down, and then spawns right next to Demaya, or next to Curry, who gets a quick kill. That was, uh, I don't want to say luck, but that, that, that was pretty darn fortunate that uh, that rocket was able to fluster Demaya that much that he'll be ending up in the lava. But normally that doesn't happen. Oh my goodness, <laughs> he falls falls barely falls again. into the lava. Curry's got to be very happy about this start. The kind of uh, uh, falling into lava that you haven't seen for quite a few years when there's just a ton of new players on the map. And Curry does just have the Mega as it's just about to expire, draining down to 100 again. Demaya on the move. That was some nice footwork getting on uh, both of those platforms and then jumping back onto some safe ground. I agree, it looked like he was pretty much trapped, but uh, he barely escaped and took no splash at all. Demaya took a rocket and he's pretty weak over at the super shotgun area while Purry's really stacked and he just now picked up the mega. Getting some uh, time grenades into the entrances, exits, trying to cover himself while he gets his stack back up. I think this may have been one of the few times where uh, Demaya just really didn't know where Perry was. But Perry does not get the advantage of a surprise attack as they notice each other and um, defensively have some bouts and back away. Curry just not letting Demaya get anything. He, he sacrificed a little rocket damage to pick up the rail and he made sure Demaya didn't go for the yellow armor either. So Curry's got really good control right now. Demaya does have a rail now. I think one one thing I'm noticing is the Maya is uh, losing sight of uh, Puri uh, more a lot more on this map than any of the others so far. And that's something you don't want to see. The Maya basically just trapped himself over the yellow armor, and he gets spawn killed right after. And again, again. very nice by uh, Puri. Maya's in the center, trying to just get some more ammo, more weapons. Spends an unusual amount of time in the actual pipe. I was just waiting for Furry to press the button on that one. And now Furry's back again at his 200-100, but he takes two rockets. Almost to the third. Very Demaya nice work some, by Demaya. He has some very fancy footwork on this map. He's he's taking everything perfectly without a hitch. Besides the two uh, uh, lava fall, uh, 
falling in love at the beginning. Um, ever, all of the other, other movements since have been perfect and done blind. He's been basically going backwards through all of these jumps. Yeah, that's that's the way uh, the top players play. They they just know the map like the back of their hand. They can they can do everything blindfolded. Basically, is what you would think. Barry's uh, waiting for the uh, mega spawn and doing the the old uh, close the door trick to keep the uh, the pipe from being an entrance. And that's a pretty vulnerable spot. I mean, if if da Demaya knew where he was, Curry would be in trouble. But Demaya didn't know it was spawning at that particular moment, so Curry was able to get it uncontested. Now, is there some movement issues with Demaya where he keeps getting himself in the pipe for unusual amounts of time? Barely gets out of there before the door closes and crushes him. Uh, I I don't know about any uh, movement issues. I'm watching Curry anyway. Yeah, I think what's going on is when he's going in this pipe, he's spending um, a lot longer. Like, usually you can just do two jumps through the thing. Um, they, they meet at the top uh, above the center area, they exchange some rockets, and the Maya gets the splash damage from Curry's rocket and goes down. But yeah, he, he's going through the, the pipe, and usually you can do two uh, two jumps and get through that thing in pretty much less than a second. And the Maya's just kind of walking through it as, as slow as he can. Uh, and I don't know if it's because he's not getting the momentum he needs to get the second jump to get out there quickly. He's just spending long times in the pipe, waiting to get hit. I don't know, maybe so he's just goes... trying to be stealthy. But the score is 7 and negative 1. Curry has complete control and just spawn killing Curry, uh, Demaya too at the moment. 8 to negative 1. Yeah, Demaya can't even get any weapons at this point. Yeah, it almost lands two rockets on her, but he was smart enough to get out of that uh, pathway through the pipe. Um, he might have launching rockets down the pipe trying to get Perry, who he knew was on the other end. It's been interesting because Demai has been able to stack himself and get rocket and rail very often, but he hasn't been able to kill her yet. Well, they're having a at the bottom and of the And I spoke too soon. He just hit a ton of rockets on Purry, and now he has complete control. Yeah, he. Uh, the rail he is up Purry, for Purry. That little uh, area that that opens into the the pipe uh, and gives you a good jump into the um uh, the yellow armor. Demai was able to trap him inside of that, even though it's a completely open area. He's able to trap him. Uh, but Purry comes down, and gets the mega, and nails Demai with the rail. Now, if, if anyone was watching Furry's point of view right there, that just looked way too easy. Just flips a nade up, and Demaya takes splash from it, and then he just runs forward and hits Demaya with a rail. And, I, and I'd say right there, that was probably Demaya's moment to come back, and now he's gonna pretty much need to pull off a miracle, because Furry again, he has rockets, rail, uh, and he just got Mega. Yeah, I, think and, I mean, he's kill, a beast on this map, so... I think that kill that Demaya got was just a... Like, it, it made him act too aggressive after that. Um, and being stealthy was his only advantage that, that allowed him to have that kill. Um, he just got too aggressive and he lost his advantage. Oh, but he does land oh, two he, uh, yeah. splash damages and takes out Purry. And Purry got a bad spawn. Now uh, this... Could be a little momentum changer here. Eleven to two. Still plenty of time left. Oh, and then, wow! Hand grenade right to the face of Demaya. Are we able to get another kill? Yeah, up to twelve to two. It's been a couple Demaya moments where you think Demaya is going to come right back and, uh, you know, get at least three or four more frags onto the board, but then Curry just shuts them down with grenades both times, actually. He's pretty much got himself trapped at the lower pipe area, but um, Perry retreats and Demaya gets the yellow armor. Tries to engage him in the center area. Uh, Perry runs away from the big area, comes back, nails him with a rocket, pulls out a rail, nails him at the spawn. So that puts Perry up at 14. 
And what's interesting about that uh, rocket damage is he took advantage of the uh, gib at the top of the map. We're at a timeout right now because uh, Damien was t uh, saying lag. Uh, we ping jumped up to 60. And some people might think, wow, it's only spiking to 60, I mean, just play through it, but I, I can just tell you guys, it, it it might stay at 60, but it'll feel like 100. When it's spiking like that, it's just so unreliable, and the net graph is probably really thick, the green line, and it, it's just, you can't do anything about it. it. You can't really play, especially if it's not you yourself downloading or something. But it uh, looks like we're back in. Uh, I guess he's got his problem fixed. Um, Curry was I... able to uh, get the mega health, and it's probably both a little difficult for both players to know exactly what's been going on after such a long break. Now, does the timeout um, stop the respawning of items? Uh, it, it's completely consistent with what was happening before. Like, if mega was in spawn okay. in 10 seconds, he called timeout. It'll still be 10 seconds when it's time in. Okay. So that was still timing, and especially after that, uh, that long pause, um, being able to know, hey, uh, I, I just remembered I was still pawn, uh, timing that uh, spawn. That's pretty impressive. Oh, almost uh -oh. knocked Curry into the lava. Yeah, he actually strafed right really hard to uh, avoid the lava. That was pretty interesting to watch. But Demaya's gotta be putting the pressure on pretty soon. He, he doesn't want to just forfeit and, you know, go into a terrible situation, but he really has no choice if he wants to come back and win this with a 12 point deficit and only 5 minutes remaining. But to the, uh, on a positive note, his score is no longer negative. True. Curry's gonna no. get that mega again. Demise is doing a little self damage. Just uh, looking at the pings now, um, it looks like after that bout of just bad pinging. Um, the Maya has come out uh, one or two milliseconds ahead, uh, higher of the ping than he had before. So, that's not going to make a huge deal, but uh, it's just interesting to note. And Purry yeah. able to finish Maya off with a couple rockets over at Super Shotgun area. And uh, it really looks like we'll be heading to map 2 with a Two to one map lead in favor of Curry. Map four, that is, with a two to one map lead. And another kill. And another bad spawn for Demaya, making another kill for uh, Curry. Yeah, he's just kind of racking up the points now. Now, what Demaya can do right now is just make it not too terrible of a loss. And I do believe the uh, the fourth map is going to be Rage, ZTM2, DM3. Which is uh, almost the complete opposite of uh, Q2, DM3. Curry getting hit by rail. He doesn't even yep. want to engage in the fight further, just backing off. Now, Demaya knew exactly where Curry was, so he was just um, sitting there trying to wait for him to pop out of the rocket launcher uh, upper area so he could uh, take a pot shot with a railgun. And as soon as he walks away, Curry takes his chance to, uh, to get out of the room and take some pot shots back at him. Now he takes a rocket to land a rail hit, takes another rocket down to 6 health, and still finishes off Curry with a, with a rail shot as he turns the corner. So we're 17 to 3 now. Getting the yellow armor, but that's really not going to be enough. He's still vulnerable to rail shot. Just Curry picks up the mega uncontested. Right and he still has rail. He can just run and rail. And it, it's only two minutes left. He's really got nothing to worry about. I think he probably just stand still for the rest of the game. And <laughs> yeah, he, he could probably still him. win if he didn't uh, spawn quickly on purpose. I think it's about three seconds before it forces you to respawn, so um, 
that would be what 45 seconds <laughs> of it would take 45 seconds for uh, the mine to catch up if, if he just didn't. Well, that's assuming that he got you know he could see every single spawn instantly and rail instantly. Oh, both players hit each other with a rail. Eddie, um, Curry has 100 health, 50 armor. Um, and he's Omega. getting mega. Uh, Demaya's uh, vulnerable to a rail hit, so he's probably gonna get splatted pretty soon. I noticed, um, in in another fight on this map, uh, uh, one of the most common ways to grab the yellow armor was to jump through the uh, quad area by taking the uh, platform, and I don't think I've seen that once here. No, not in duel. There's. It's just a longer route, and you kind of give up positioning when you're over there, because it's it's a direct route to get the uh, yellow from the super shotgun area. I mean, it does happen in duel sometimes, but it's definitely not the preferred way. Usually, right. that happens when people are just trying to steal it real quick or ambush. Only three seconds left. Nineteen to three in Furry's favor. Furry gets another kill with the rocket in the low area uh, of the arena. Maya just not even climbing up the pipe. Five seconds left, so he's just standing still. And that does it. That gives it to Furry with twenty to three. And um. Demise is the right back, but we're switching over to Rage. Now, Furry wins this map, or the next one. He is European League Season 7 champion. When you get control of that area, you can usually get yourself a chain gun. And um, I think that's Demise's strength. I think if it came down to an uh, equal fight between the two of them, Demise would always win with the chain gun. Now, as far as uh, movement's concerned, um, if you want to watch some uh, some uh, slick professional action, uh, if somebody gets caught in the uh, super shotgun area next to the steps, um, there's a lot of really slick ways to either Nine, double jump from eight, that onto the railgun to get seven, out, or to six, uh, use the steps five, and jump back onto the uh, on the elevator. Three, and the flight over the elevator two, usually becomes pretty epic. One. Well, the match has started. Uh, uh, is starting off getting the uh, red armor. Probably going for the mega and the mega. Maya's got Pretty his. standard start, both players collecting everything on their side of the map. Yep, Demaya's got his chain gun with plenty of ammo, takes a rail shot, um, jumps down to do a defensive uh, move to keep control of that red arm. Curry's moving in, Demaya's trying to keep him back. Picks up another red armor, spawn. I don't think he knew that Curry was up there. He uh, was waiting for him to come down that hallway. And Curry takes a rocket from the um, upper position overlooking that uh, chain gun spawn. And, and Maya wow. takes him out. Curry takes missed him out a lot gun. of rockets there. He gets a but he hits two, two nice rails on Demaya. Three, wow. wow. Very Wait impressive. The, the Just as Mega three. comes back. Wait for the Quake 3 announcer to say, IMPRESSIVE! Huh. There's something wrong with my headphones. All I hear is impressive. The Maya's got control of that area again, though. Yeah, but he's only got the shotgun, which is a terrible long-distance gun. But he did pick up the uh, chain gun, at least. And he's collecting another yellow armor by grenade. It's the red armor again. Probably didn't even uh, try to engage him for it. I think this is the first time uh, Demaya's jumped down to grab that adrenaline, uh, which is kind of surprising. I think he already did before. Uh, I might have uh, popped away for Curry when that happened. Yeah, that's, what, that's the, the the big thing about that area is that if you get that red armor, you can jump down and fill your health uh, immediately. And uh, when you have control of that, you know if somebody's got that adrenaline or not. You, you know 100% for certain that it's down there, so you can fill up quickly. It's a surprise chain gun uh, about it against Curry and just mows him down. I think out of the uh, 100 bullets he shot, he probably missed with four. <laughs> Did he sneak around the corner? Were you watching Demaya's point of view? Because I couldn't no, get him from Curry's. 
I only popped in as soon as he started getting hit. I think he was below. I think he was in in the hallway, and he uh, uh, made a jump to get onto the, the um, onto the platform with him to uh, finish him off. But Curry thought he had control of the red arm area when that attack started. They're just exchanging shots, not really landing much um, uh, in the red armor. Uh, getting a fight over the elevator that my runs down the hallway. Curry's uh, matching the movement. Oh, nails him and he comes up the elevator, and it's chain gun versus uh, rail, but the rail's at the advantage because he's landed so many hits. Wow, the didn't retreat. do that much damage at all. And Curry did a ton of damage with rail. I think he hit three rails and then finished them off with a super shotgun. No, he did miss a uh, shot that's going to cost him. Um, uh, Demaya spawned right next to, next to him and grabbed that uh, rocket launcher, and Curry should have been able to just take him out right away, but he did not. But he got him at the top of that elevator. Curry, full <laughs> control. Again. Just needs to get the mega, and he's ambushing the mega area right now as we speak. He has a real lot of Demaya wants to run out for it. 3 to 1 in Curry's favor. Demaya sneaks in and grabs the yellow armor and grabs position of that, um, of that, uh, elevator and gets, gets some weapons and ammo. Curry got Curry some having, mega. uh, no issue with taking a little rocket splash in exchange for keeping the rail and mega away from Demaya. And Curry is very stacked at 190, 150. Now, this Maya does get the uh, rail gun from him. I don't know that he's going to use it all that much. That's not, um, his, his strategy on this map is uh, chain gun him to death, uh, maybe rocket him to weaken him down, and then finish him off with the chain gun. Both players took a lot of damage, and I think Curry still has the upper hand because red armor spawning soon, and he's got 100 health, 50 armor. I've got 149 armor. Curry is 49 health, uh, picks up another, um, oh, picks up the Mega and another yellow, so he's 149 and 72 armor. Game, this game is really, really close compared to the others. We, the others were pretty lopsided, um, especially if you look at the final scores. Now it's only 3 to 2, but Curry takes 2 rails and a third from Demaya. Third, that was yeah. huge for, for Demaya. They're tied. Um, Demaya's got control of his side. Uh, Curry's just trying to uh, just farm all the items that he has on his side. Uh, looks like he's going to try to engage and get that red, so they're fighting over that little hallway. Curry puts himself up the elevator. Demaya quickly grabs the red. Um, they're exchanging railgun shots in the open area. I would have preferred to see Demaya just rocket jump up there and destroy Furry with rockets, but uh, instead he went to red armor and got railed twice. Oh, now he says he's blacking again. Wow. But, uh, 50. Yeah, it looks like he's starting off. But it's not spiking, it's actually rising steadily now, and not quite as erratic as it was before. Now it's, now it's starting to spike. And we're finally going to be back, and let's keep in mind both players are about, you know, 100-100-ish, with the Maya about to pick up a yellow at rail, Curry chasing out of the chain gun area. Nine minutes yeah. remaining, three to three. And we're back on, um, Maya tried to run for the um, Mega, but it was not there, so he's, like you said, throwing some grenades down so he can make a safe, safe grab for it. That's the rail gun. Curry's got, um, full stack, control of the red armor. <laughs> just gonna play defensively for the moment. Yeah, Fur is just hanging out, not trying to force anything, hang waiting for the next red again, and Demaya is just continuously stacking over at the rail area. Well, Fur is trying to sneak up on Demaya right now, and Demaya saw him, so he's running back to uh, try to take that red armor while he has the chance. Fur jumps in, gets a rail hit. Both Demaya. players hitting each other once, but means Fur. nothing for Furry as he picks up the next red. Oh, it's a, nice direct, direct rocket. rocket. Yeah, direct hit. Maya uh, hanging out by the rocket, grabbing the yellow armor up the elevator. Um, shoots some rockets, trying to get some flash damage in a hurry. He grabs the next uh, red armor. 
Maya is consistently timing that yellow armor, not that it um, is always... I mean, in this case, it's gonna be his, his useful thing he's taking advantage of. As I just switched my point of view to Demaya, he's barely his hit mega health just ran out and Curry was waiting for it. So he decided to go back and engage him. Yeah, he did not get it. Um, in most cases, that red armor is more powerful than uh, than a mega. Oh wow! That blast rocket barely missed Curry, and Curry is in pretty big trouble with only 60 health and one rocket. He did pick up the red. Full stack. Murray lands a lot of bullets with the Maya, takes out all of his 200 armor, and pulls him down to 100 health. Oh, wow, a much needed adrenaline. He had 9 health, and he got 100. Maya misses a needed rail shot. I would have finished him off. Well, almost. And Murray finishes him off with uh, the chain gun. And he gets a nice spawn kill, it looks like. Yep. When it was chain on chain though, Demaya really should have done more damage. I think Demaya had over a hundred more health than Furry going into that fight. Like, total. So the fact that he couldn't capitalize there is, uh, gonna suck for him because Furry's got control, complete control again. Furry just making his rounds, grabbing that red armor. Demaya's, uh, covering his tracks as he goes for the, uh, yellow. Maya has no idea, but Furry's directly below him. Oh, Furry just exposed himself. That didn't sound very... <laughs> Furry waiting for Mega, but it's not gonna spawn. He probably... Oh, did see Maya, Maya tries there. the exact same thing. <laughs> Furry slips through, dabs the red armor. Up to a full stack. Am I running away to try to um, and that was a, a little bit? That was a plus for Demaya because Furry already had 200 armor. He just kept it from Demaya while Demaya was able to get chained. But now Demaya is getting hit by a rail over by the grenade launcher. But this puts him into the red armor and he grabs it. I don't know that he can hold it, but he has the area for the moment. Furry's on pursuit. They're both 100-200. Oh, okay, Curry hitting himself to pick up the red armor, but doesn't spawn when he wanted it. Indeed, and now he's not nearly as healthy. He's only 130 to total. Maya gets that red armor. They're gonna fight over that mega. Curry gets in and grabs it. And he's just finished off by the chain gun. He did land some splash damage with those rockets that the Maya should have easily dodged, but didn't. Now the score is all tied up, 5-5, five, five, with 5 minutes remaining. Maya just kind of steps back, misses a rocket, or gets missed by a rocket completely. They're both moving in for the Mega. Maya. is very stacked as Furry's very vulnerable with only 60 health running toward Rail again. Rail is up, if Furry can get that Rail that'll definitely be a big help. Yeah, it might be something that Demaya may want to shift his focus to is um, also keeping Curry away from the rail uh, when he spawns back in, as opposed to only keeping the red armor area. We've been seeing some consistently better shots coming with the railgun from Curry. Grabs the red armor again after taking a small amount of damage. Needs him oh, at the top of the Oh man. If Demaya didn't fall, I think uh, Curry was done for right there. Right. But uh, I think Demaya bailed out. Demaya may have expected him to fall at that point because it looked like Curry was going over the edge to try to get away. I mean, Demaya with 35 ping, he'll do 100 damage with the chain fairly quickly. Curry was able to land a rail and pick up the Mega and Yellow Armor. They're waiting for that red arm to spawn back in. And both players are being very cautious, as understandably so, with a tie game and only three minutes left. Both are very stacked, and uh, just waiting to capitalize on superior positioning and sort of ambush the opponent. Yeah, Dubai did get a uh, 
a quick shot in on uh, Curry. He did not realize he was there. Tries to clean him up with a chain gun. I don't think he realized that uh, Curry had that much health. So he kind of expected to just come in and finish him off when it really wasn't the weapon for that. Curry was able to land one quick flick rail on Demaya though. And they're both at about 100 hundred. Red's gonna hey, spawn soon. This should be interesting. Demaya decides to back off with lower ground. Casting of all the playoff and final matches this season, so make sure you stop by the Tasty Cast calendar to see the schedule. Dang, cat and mouse right now. Demaya just does not want to uh, engage in a fight where he's got the lower ground. He gives up Mega, but he does take the next dread. So it's Perry at uh, an advantage. Perry's at 200, 200, just below him, coming up the elevator. Gets hit by two rockets. Almost a third. And we got chain on chain, a chain gun. Oh, a Demaya completely. Demaya coming out on top. Him. Just as the red armor is about to spawn, and he gets the adrenaline. That was huge for Demaya. Yeah, he did uh, probably twice as much damage on Perry than Perry did on him. Yeah, Perry was. I, I, I think Perry was about 250 total health. Demaya might have been a little less from the rockets. Coming back for the red armor. Curry needs to get a frag to tie it up with only a minute and 20 seconds remaining. I think Demise caught himself. Um, he started to get a little aggressive, which was giving him problems previously, but he's starting to play defensively again. Gets nailed uh, in order to grab the, rail, the red armor again, keep it away from Curry. He gets that yellow armor. He's, a, he's got his 140 health, 50 armor. One minute remaining. I like this. I think Demaya should go all the way and commit. Oh, he doesn't commit to the fight. Curry was only about 100 health. Demaya was 300 total. Um, but the, it's, it's just one of those armor. situations where you just don't know what you should do with a one point lead, you know? Should you go and engage your opponent? You don't know if you're going to lose that fight, so. Demaya backed off, and now they're. Over at rail area. Oh, Perry backed off. Yeah, Perry's gonna have to get aggressive. He's only got 25 seconds left to uh, tie this up. Demaya's gonna get the Mega. And he's gonna go into that hallway and just... Oh, no, he dropped down. 15 seconds. Perry has to make his move, no matter what. There he is. Here it is. Chain gun, getting the red armor. And Demaya's landing more bullets and has way more health and takes him out for another point, so... Three seconds left with a two point lead, seven to five to Maya. And there it is, seven to five to Maya at the end of this map. And we're gonna go to a fifth map. Both players have to eliminate a map, but uh Demaya has to remove first, so that means Curry gets to basically choose. That was a slow match oh, with a long intermission. How fitting. And we are now about to start on Future DM1, map 5, European Duel League Season 7 between Demaya and Puri. Demaya gets a little rocket spawn, he's heading over to the Mega Health Room right now, he and he's gonna pick up a chain. Puri starting uh, near the outside area, grabs uh, just a machine gun and a uh, yellow armor and gives up the Mega Health because he could not engage in that fight. Demaya's um, got his chain, and he's got his rocket, and I think that's really all he was looking for, so he's probably gonna, um, try to just hold that room now and wait for the fight to happen. Or he has no idea what to deal with Demaya is until he comes in and sees him come to the door. Both exchange a rocket, 84 Both health, players uh, Perry about is 80 health. health. Yeah, and he does, he hit two rockets and Demaya only hit one. Demaya runs away, gets the, uh, yellow armor, misses the jump to get up onto the grenade, um, ledge, which probably would have given him a, uh, uh, a surprise attack. Both players know Mega's coming really soon. This should be interesting. Chain versus yeah, Rockets. Perry, Perry tried to just hope that it was there when he jumped up there and knew he had to get off because he would have just got hit. Demai does uh, plenty of damage with his chain gun, getting uh, Perry uh, vulnerable and he's going to have to back away and not actually engage. And that's... Oh, he gets the Mega before the uh, Rocket hits. which would have taken him out. So it puts him at 100 health and 50 armor while demaya has got... 90 and 73, grab some little yellow. 
So he may come back, he's got plenty of bullets, he may come back to engage again. The first kill is very crucial on this map because everything is centered around that mega health room. If you get the first kill and you get control of mega, it, the burden is on the opponent and it's a really heavy burden with one of these players controlling that mega room. Yeah, I think they both know that when they when they take the mega room, they have to be able to keep it for the next kill. So they're not going to engage in a fight that's going to leave them with something to 20 health and make them vulnerable for somebody to come back. Now Purry just staying being tight, and he's actually going to go for rail. This is something we usually see from Purry. Whenever he's got full control and he just got the most recent yellow and mega health room, he'll go for rail and uh, try and end it right there. Maya knows, Maya knows he's, he's there. there. Oh, a nice jump up, but the Maya puts a rocket to get him to the last I don't know that it did all that much damage. But he's just waiting for him to pop up so he can get him with that chain gun. So Maya knows he can't let Furry get off scot free. Well, now he has no choice. Oh, nice he gets it. Coming out of the sewer, it hits a, it hits a Furry down to 50 grenade. health. So his, his getting that rail definitely cost him. Cost him uh, mega health tries... control and a lot of damage. Yeah, the Maya tries to shove a rocket through the uh, upper ramp to the uh, grenade launcher, shoots it too soon, which allows um, Hurry to shoot some shots through, but nobody hits anybody. Maya's and that Hurry mega. taking a guess that he was going to take the armor uh, pack, ammo pack route to get Mega, missing the rail. Now this is an interesting predicament because Demaya has complete control of the Mega Health room, but he does not have a rail gun, whereas Hurry's 100-100 with a railgun, so... Well, I think players Demaya's... are actually pretty evenly advantaged, to a degree. I think Demaya's got what he was looking for, which is 300 bullets and, um, and uh, a, a good stack, uh, 170 health, 100 armor. So I think he knows if he engages in a fight, he's, he's gonna just take him out with that chain gun. And this is also something where... This is something we also see pretty often whenever one's got full control of Mega Health Room, they'll just keep grabbing the shards over and over, and they'll build their armor stack to 120 or more. If you, uh, oh, oh, wow. Furry had 20 in. health after that fight. Lands, what did he land? Three uh, rockets, one direct, and then two splashes? Uh, at least, because Demaya was stacked. He was like 150, 120. Now, if uh, you don't ever see this in a in a, a, a dual situation, but if you did run a, uh, a complete circle around the map to grab all of the armor shards, you end up with about 36 additional armor. And then by the time you finish the circle, you only have uh, one or two seconds before the shards are going to spawn again. Now, Purry, I mean, he knows he's got rail and full mega health room control, so it, it, it's going to be a slow process for Demaya to build his stack to start engaging in fights. Now we got a meeting at the elevator. Hurry jumps off accidentally and gives up Mega Room to Demaya. But Hurry is not willing to uh, just sit there and let him regain stack. Mega Health will be coming soon, so this should be interesting. Demaya does not have a chain or a rail, but Hurry does, and he picks up the Mega uncontested. Demaya fakes that he dropped down the chain by dropping ammo. Does a little rocket damage to Furry, but no harm really done as Furry picks up another yellow. He's sitting really beefy at 157 health, 93 armor. Score is 1 nothing with 9 minutes left. And Furry is deciding to dive down the low rocket and destroys Demaya with his chain gun. And I, yeah, Demaya did go to rail, that's what I thought I heard. And I think Furry knows this. He's going to head there and presumably just obliterate him with chain. Oh, but Demaya got up nice and quickly heading to underground. Demaya hits a nice rail on Furry, wow. That could have been such a huge uh, kill for Furry to just end it, but.
then Maya was able to escape scot free and do a rail damage. But now Puri does have Mega. Both players with the rail. Maya's picked up rockets sitting at that elevator though. So Demaya's sitting at 100 100 with rail. There's still plenty of time. 2 nothing. That's not a huge deficit. Control is the main issue, not the deficit. And it sort of becomes a waiting game and as as I'm watching Prairie's point of view. He he just has control of Mega, he knows the burden's on Demaya to come and engage him, so he'll just sit there and wait. Demaya trying to get a little sneaky with a uh, long distance rail into Mega. Demaya hits a rail from SSG. And Demaya's decided to try and enter the room. Oh, and he hits another nice rocket. Curry has to uh, fall back, but now he's coming right back. Oh, a nice rail by Demaya. Curry at four health. That was huge. Kirby barely escapes the upper rocket without taking a rail. Oh, but he does take a rail at the upper rocket itself. And Demai is able to chase him around the bottom of the uh, shotgun room and kills him with chain in the open area. Curry's going for rail again. And Puri fakes his escape to uh, this open area from the underground, but backs out. He's trying to reel Demaya. It's him once, but Demaya's still healthy enough to even take a second. But he doesn't even hit him a second time. Score is 3 2 in favor of Demaya over Puri. This is map 5. 6 minutes, 7 seconds remaining. We got Chain vs Hyper. I definitely like the Chain over Hyper. And Demai is able to finish Prey off with a Super Shotgun and get a spawn kill. Prey makes the uh, predictable uh, jump to lower rocket, picking up the uh, armor slugs, or the rail slugs. But he's able to get out without taking any damage and putting a rocket on Demaya. Now he's going to retake the Mega Health room. Maya just backing off. If if Furry gets the next yellow armor and then heads for rail, this could get very interesting. He's got the next yellow armor, and I think that's what he's gonna do. Yep, he's heading for rail. Rail makes things so much easier. Demaya's got a hunch that he went to rail, but he cannot. He knows now that he can't engage him. He was too too much out of position. Now he's going up the uh, elevator. They're both going to meet. Rocket first chain. Hurry, doing a lot of chain damage. Maya down to 72 health. Hurry, chasing him all the way around from upper rocket, and he's going to enter mega health room. Maya is still able to keep that three point lead and not uh, take a kill yet. And a uh, little deja vu is Demaya goes right back through up a rocket again. That mega health's gonna be coming soon. Oh, a crucially missed rail. If Furry hit that rail, could have easily finished Demaya off. He would have been 12 health. But then he just hit another one, and he's got chain. He will finish this kill off. Five to three. 
Only a two point lead for Demaya with three minutes, 36 seconds remaining. If Curry wins this game, he is our champion. And another quick chain kill by Curry. Only a one point lead for Demaya and Curry has every gun and complete control. Demaya is stuck in a bad situation at underground. Gets railed, and it looks like that's gonna be uh... Oh, and he doesn't even do the long distance rail, he just decides to switch the chain and kill him. He knew Demaya was gonna stutter step. Demaya spawns up on that uh, upper ledge, grabs some uh, armor shards, but gets nailed, so he's down to 8 health. Picks up some health, so he's up to 33 now, after the fall damage. I think Demaya wants to take it as slowly as possible just to keep this game at a, as a, as a tie game and try and push it into overtime and maybe just pull something off, but... Curry hasn't really been on a mission looking for him just yet. Yeah, I think something near uh, 1 minute left or 1 minute 30 seconds left is when he's going to start uh, engaging. But all this time has passed, and Demaya was able to go from about 40 health to 88 health, 70, 70, 74 armor. The only health that he could get at that point, uh, he didn't want to risk himself for the 50 health, were the, the 20 on top of the uh, uh, ledge, the hyper ledge, and the 20 uh, by the regular shotgun. He's in the Mega Room. I don't know that he has control of it, but he's in the Mega Room. Um, that's his chain. Oh, wow. That might be it right there. Oh, he's even yeah. saying GG pretty much early. 6-5. Demaya made a really gutsy decision to try and drop down the chain gun and rocket jump out. But uh, Furry was com completely prepared for it and chained the crap out of him. And now he's just finishing, finishing it up. Still got a minute left. If, uh, if Curry uh, screws up bad here, then it's possible to clean him up, but um, it's unlikely at this point. Very Nothing unlikely. He's just going to run away and uh, force Damien to either uh, wait it out and, and lose or engage him and, and put himself at risk. Oh, and a nice flick rail by Curry. And that pretty much seals it. Yeah, there's only 30 seconds left. I'm not sure why Yamai is still trying to play a little defensively. He's just going to have to go all out. And that completely seals it. Eight yeah, to there's five. no way to come back. And Curry has control of the map with 17 seconds remaining. Yamai has stopped moving. Oh, blaster! <laughs> And we can officially say that we have a European Delete champion in Curry. His first uh, gold medal, we can say, since Season 1. Congratulations to Curry. Very good games. Uh, especially the last two on Rage and P2DM1. Very close and intense. So we have a champion, and that is the end of the coverage of the Tasty Spoons Outcast. For the EDL final between India and Perry, Perry taking the championship.